so the jaw articulates. You can see on the side here that he moves. So what we wanna do is we want to just strengthen this a little bit just to give it a little bit extra. And we're going to slice into here slide the metal in just to give it some more reinforcement. We're going to glue that into place, but first we have to cut our slices and they're not very big. So we've cut pieces of the aluminum here just to add as strengtheners to this jaw area here. Uh, one of the tendencies that we have is to uh, hold on to the jaw and so we just want to reinforce it here. Um, and we're going to cut a slit here and then slide this into it. Take your X-Acto knife, and this is probably about the right size piece to go in. Maybe it doesn't need to be quite that deep. Make sure your knife is deep enough. Not quite yet, a little bit longer. Or if I was cutting a piece of metal a little bit shorter, that's a possibility too. I want to make sure I can get this in all the way in there, because I'm actually glue it in, and then I'll have glue them. bend it a little bit. Good thing is it's aluminum so it's easy to bend. I think I bent it too much. Come on. You don't have to play with it a little bit. Alright, so we've got the little metal slice in there, the aluminum slice, <clears throat> to help reinforce this part. And I'm just going to hot glue it into that area now. Mm -hmm. I'll just slide down there. I'll fill the hole a little. And just like that. Now you want to let that cool. going to do now is we're going to attach the jaw to the, the head, the main part of the head. Um, and then we use these screws that we have combined together here and we screw it into the edge here just to make the hole first. So you want to screw that into the edge to make the hole first. And then once that's screwed in, back it out. And we have the other one over here. We're going to back it out over here also. Great. And then we're going to put glue on the edge of this and then put that into the hole. side. Put them in the hole. And I'm just going to screw it down into there. What that'll do is seal the screw into the hole. Good. I'm going to give it an extra dab of glue because it won't hurt. If anything, that will help it just stay in place a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same over here. Just give it a little extra dab. 
While that's drying, we're going to set that off to the side. Okay. While that's drying, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and mount this piece. We've cut it and then drilled the hole and shaped it. So now we're going to mount it into here. And it's a couple inches back from the edge there. About where this first tooth starts up is the edge of it. And you put this, it's going to be facing up. That we've already pre put the slice in there just to make this video go a little faster. Once again, handy dandy glue gun. that'll do is you get enough in there it helps to seal that piece in okay, there you go and now this we want to attach to here or we can very first we can put the foam on it it may be easier to put the foam now we're going to go ahead and attach this first using these screws that we have we just happen to have these sitting around so they're just machine screws that we have. It's just a little bitty screw with a nut. That's all you need. Put that on the top. Seal that on the bottom. You want to make sure that this can rotate. Not super tight. So we can easily do like that. Keep it from backing out. And we're just going to seal it in here down at the bottom. Hot glue for everything. And that just keeps the nut from backing out. So this can still spin. But the glue is going to be on the bottom part there. I want to put this onto there. Once again, hot glue is my friend. Okay, there we go. Let me get that on and just wiggle it around. Make sure you get that glue spread around. Your metal's going to be warm. Just be aware of that. Get it on there. You may get a little glue leak on the side. Don't worry about it. That should anchor that down for you. Uh, looks like I have a little gap at the edge here. No worries. the glue because it's hot. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach these screws here which is where we're going to hook the rubber band on to. So when we put them in we want to make sure that there's enough of a gap behind it so you can hook the rubber band in. That holds it on which gives your jaw a little bit of spring. A little bit of resistance, a little bit of spring. So we've kind of looked over here where these teeth are down here, a little dot there. I'm going to go ahead and pre-screw it in. And then I'm going to back it out. Same as I did over there. I'm just going to make a hole. Back it out. Put my glue in there. just helps hold everything in place. 
that's probably about good right there. I like the rubber band can get behind it. And then the skull. We're measured. And it is right here under the left eye. We're gonna do the same thing here. About an inch and a half, two inches under the left eye. Just gonna screw it in. Get a little parallel with that. Unscrew it. Because if I get my hand out of the way, it's easier for you to see. Exact same thing. Dab it to a hot glue. about enough there. There's enough of a gap at the top here to let it hook on there, which is what we want. So, right, and that's how we do that. All right, now we are going to actually attach the jaw to the head, and we're going to use these, now that these are dry and hard in there, holding everything really well. Flip this over. So remember when you cut it off, these very back mandible pieces here, this is where they came out of, and you can see the marks where you cut them off of there. You're just gonna screw it right back into there. So we pre-poked holes in there before we glued these in. So if not, you can just poke them in with something else. Oh, and as you do it, before I put the glue on, just make sure that you line it up so that the teeth are lined up where you got them off of, and that these line up right in those holes there like that you can see from the side because you want this to be able to open just a little bit not a lot just a little bit he's not even a big giant sandwich he's just talking so okay let's go ahead and do this and i'm going to try and be brave and put a drop in both sides at the same time See if I can get this taken care of really quickly. Now, now that you've got the hot glue, you're gonna have to work fast. And I'm actually scooch the chair back so I can get in here a little easier. Except these you just are gonna push down in those holes that you made before. Seal that into there. Check and sure your teeth line up in the front. They do. You're good. Let them cool. 